Today on Rappler. Vice President Sara Duterte and House Speaker Martin Romualdez are back on friendly terms. Filipinos on social media react to President Marcos' sauna, asking what country are you in? Transport Chief Jaime Bautista says the shortage of plastic driver's license cards could end by September. Climate activist Greta Thunberg is fined for disobeying a police order. P-pop boy group BGYO says it wants to bring P-pop to the world stage. Guy Soto finally shows up the Gilas Pilipinas practice. And the Philippines marks its first-ever FIFA World Cup victory. Did Vice President Sara Duterte and House Speaker Martin Romualdez patch things up? Duterte and Romualdez are seen walking arm-in-arm during President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s send-off to Malaysia, where he is set for a two-day state visit. In June, Duterte appeared to have taken a swipe at Speaker Martin Romualdez after Duterte's close ally, Pampanga Representative Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, was unceremoniously stripped of the senior deputy speakership post. Before the House took a two-month break in May, Arroyo and Romualdez exchanged pleasantries and smiled for a photo op during a plenary session. Meantime, Marcos seems relieved his vice president is getting along with his cousin. The speaker and the vice president canoodling is always a very good sign. Filipinos on social media react to President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s second State of the Nation address. Malaking tulong ang kadiwastor na ating mulang, muling binuhay at inilunsad. Filipinos online disagree, with one person asking, what country are you in? In another part of his speech, Marcos refers to law enforcers involved in the drug trade. We cannot tolerate corruption or incompetence in government. Social media users are quick to point out the irony of his statement. Marcos wraps up his speech saying, Dumating na po ang bagong Pilipinas. Filipinos on social media point to endemic problems in the country, like dynasties and socio-economic issues. Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista says the shortage of plastic driver's license cards could end by September. Bautista and the newly appointed Land Transportation Office Chief Vigor Mendoza II received the first batch of plastic license cards on Tuesday, July 25. The initial batch of at least 5,000 plastic cards will be used to make licenses for overseas Filipino workers and new driver's license applicants. The supplier is expected to produce 15,000 to 30,000 daily as part of its commitment to deliver 1 million cards within the next two months. Bautista says up to 130,000 cards are expected to be issued by September. Those who receive paper licenses could claim their physical license cards by around August or September. Meanwhile, motorists can continue using their electronic driver's license, which can be accessed through the LTMS portal. 20-year-old Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg is found guilty of disobeying a police order to leave a climate protest. Thunberg was sentenced to pay a fine. She was part of a group of protesters that blocked the road for oil trucks in Malmo Harbor. Thunberg admits she had been part of the protest and disobeyed the police order, but pleaded not guilty and said she was acting out of necessity. Thunberg told the court her actions were justifiable, adding, quote, We are in an emergency that threatens life, health, and property. P-pop boy group BGYO wants to make P-pop a global phenomenon as it teases its new music. BGYO member Jello says he thinks, quote, we have a better shot at making P-pop a global phenomenon now by supporting both new and earlier acts. Each member also shares the concepts for their dream projects with the members sharing affinities to emo imagery, dance pop, ballads, rock, rap, and R&B. The group also says it is excited for its upcoming releases, with member Mickey saying, quote, It will be really something different. We're preparing for quite a lot. The group shares the spotlight with P-pop powerhouses SB19 and Alamat in Miss Mojo's Top 10 International Bands You Should Know About. Filipino Star Center Kai Soto finally shows up to Gilas Pilipinas practice, beating head coach Chot Reyes' deadline for players intending to play in a China pocket tournament. But the 7'3 Soto, still recovering from a back injury, does not suit up yet and instead hoists some shots in street clothes after practice ended. Assistant coach Jong Oichiko says Soto has been healthy and they expect him to join training in the next few days. Soto is expected to join the team in China before the August 25 opening of the World Cup. Meantime, Phil Am Utah Jazz star Jordan Clarkson also commits to join Gilas. 
Serena Bolden makes football history for the Philippines for scoring the Philippines' first-ever FIFA World Cup goal, leading to the country's first World Cup victory. The Filipinas, the first Philippine football team, male or female, to reach the World Cup, spoils host New Zealand's party with a stunning 1-0 victory in their Group A clash on Tuesday, July 25. With the win, the 46th-ranked Filipinas now have three points and a minus-one goal difference after playing two games. Philippine coach Alan Stocic says, quote, I think they showed true heart, bringing out their puso, which means heart in Tagalog. The Filipinas are set to face Norway on Sunday, July 30. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.